something's been nibbling my greens. The evidence is everywhere. I reckon it's rabbits. Insatiable rabbits. So where are they then? Why can't I see them? I'm sure it's rabbits. If it was deer, there'd be nothing left. If it was slugs, there'd be raggedy edges and the veg would be full of holes. See, neat little And I don't understand how they're getting in. It's supposed to be rabbit proof, this garden. Buck toothed little buggers. It's quite baffling because I was sure I got this place rabbit proof and I've never actually seen a bunny in here. I need incontrovertible evidence that it's them. And if I find it, they're in trouble. It's taking over my life. I'm actually losing sleep. I know you're there. I'm determined to catch them red poured. And nothing gets past my pumpkin cam. The pumpkin never lies. The proof is conclusive. Rabbits getting into my garden via the chicken run. And further up the hill, the full extent of the bunny problem is all too plain to see. Look at this. That's a rabbit run. And you know what? It goes straight down to the veg garden. The rabbit population here is definitely starting to become a big problem. But there is another way of looking at it. It's also a considerable resource. In our grandparents' day, farmers and gamekeepers managed rabbit numbers, and rabbit meat was regular fare on the family table. In fact, you only have to go back a few generations to find a time when more rabbit was eaten than chicken. If you take 400 rabbits off of a farm, the chances are you'll take between three and 500 every year. Really? And it, you know, it doesn't really go up and down very much. On that basis, rather than obliterate our warren, we should manage it as a regular source of meat. Rabbits are classed as vermin, so there are no seasonal restrictions, but stick to autumn and winter when they're not feeding their young, and always get the landowner's permission. I'm keen to rekindle Britain's taste for rabbit. And who better to spread the word than the Women's Institute? Linda, Margaret and Stella of the Dorset Federation are going to help me throw a special WI Rabbit Night. We thought you wouldn't be content just to go home with a skinned, jointed rabbit no. and leave the skin with us. We thought you'd want to do something with the skin. What springs to mind? Slippers and gloves sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Knickers and gloves? No, knickers! <laughs> Slippers! I, I thought you might be onto something there. Rabbit skin knickers. That could sweet the nation this Christmas. 